How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Life Made Easy. And today, guys, I'm going to be starting off a new sort of series where I'm um, going back to the roots of the channel, doing some Xbox Live, and or just Xbox One uh, tutorials in general. Um, I see a lot of these tutorials on YouTube, and I don't think they're very good, so I want to make uh, more of my own because they've done uh, popular in the past, and um, hoping to do some really good tutorials in the future that help you guys out a lot. Um, and I break things down very uh, straightforward and make it really simple to follow, and I show everything on screen. So, starting off uh, with this new series, well, kind of a continuation of the old series, um, I'm just going to be showing you how to, like, personalize your Xbox One background. Uh, as you can see in the background here, I have a Startle, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 background. Uh, I got that from playing the game just as normal. I think it was an achievement. Um, also, shout out to Battlefront 2. Great game. Would recommend it. I was on sale for Black Friday for like 15 bucks. But okay, so just moving right along. Double tap your Xbox uh, button on your controller, or you can just go to the general settings app uh, down here, whatever you want. I'm going to double tap. I'm going to go over to the settings icon, click on settings. And I'm going to make my way over to personalization. This is under the general tab. I'm going to click on that. And from here, also, if you want to game share, you use my home Xbox, but that's a whole separate tutorial. Uh, I've also done that on my uh, channel as well. You can also go into theme and motion. You can choose what kind of theme you want. I leave it on dark, and I like smooth transitions and whatnot, but that's um, something different. So you want to go to my color and background, and here's where you can kind of tweak things to your liking. Um, I like it mostly transparent for the home panel, and I like the tiles pretty solid. I don't really like those transparent, but... Um, oh yeah, and you can also set your custom color for like uh, the UI and your interface. I love green, as you can tell by my Life Made Easy logo. So I just leave it on green um, for the most part. Sometimes I'll change it up. But from here, uh, you can also change the color of your game art. But achievement art, this is where you can get a lot of cool custom backgrounds and whatnot. So if I were to go into uh, Star Wars, as you can see here. You get some of these cool pictures just for doing, um, playing the game and whatnot. All you have to do is, sorry, tap on it, and then just click set as background, and you click that. Also, you can set as club background. May as well do that. Why not? Um, and from there, I'll go back to the home screen soon just to show you that it actually works, but... Yeah, you can go on any game you want, Fortnite, whatever, yada, yada, yada. Choose whichever background you like and set that as you want. You can also do custom image, but you have to download a media player to actually do this. Um, and you can also get a USB drive and plug it into your Xbox if you want to transfer files like that. I'm not going to do that, but um, you can load up some files on a USB thumb drive, plug it in, and then you can transfer them to your Xbox and set them... Um, that way. You can also do screenshots. I have several screenshots of old like COD games, or maybe not as many as I thought, but you can take a screenshot of a game and then set it as your background. And you can also remove your custom background um, here. So guys, that's basically it. If you want to customize your Xbox One background, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there's no real difficulties here. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I want to give a quick shout out to my podcast, Life at Life Made Easy Podcast. Go follow me on Twitter or just hit me up on any uh, podcast service that you watch, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcasts, Spotify. You can find me anywhere at Life Made Easy Podcast. We make some great tech-related content over there, so I would appreciate if you guys went over there and left me a follow. Um, so thanks so much for watching this tutorial, guys. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you guys in the next upcoming Life Made Easy video.